It was Aristotle who said that educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. Most of us have been to school. Most of us may have been to college or university, but most of us will feel that our education let us down. Our education didn't give us the skills, the abilities, the mindset that help us thrive in life. No, they, they did not. And most of all, our education did not prepare us for our real future real decisions, real relationships. That's why so many of us feel lost, confused and bewildered as we get older in life from 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 and look back and wonder what did we learn. And that's because at school we learn what to think but not how to think. And the ideal education system has three elements. An ideal education is an education of the head, the heart, and the hand. Let me explain what I mean. Please, please do. The education of the head is what we already receive. Academics, knowledge of math, knowledge of English, science, history, geography. These subjects equip us with knowledge, ideas, thoughts. They educate our head. They make us understand things. They improve our memory when we learn them, when we're tested on them. These are all valuable skills for our future. The challenge is, that's currently all we get. I guess that's it. Yep. The two that are often missed out are the heart and the hand. An education in the heart is understanding the values that lead to long-term growth and long-term success. Things like empathy, kindness, compassion, being able to have emotional intelligence, being able to be aware of yourself and aware of others around you, knowing how to communicate effectively, knowing how to respect others' beliefs and boundaries, knowing how to read in between the lines of other people's thoughts and emotions. You good? This education in the heart would save us so much time and so much energy and potentially even so much money because so much of it is wasted because we've never been trained to understand ourselves or understand others. Do you understand? Yes. And the final step is an education in the hand. Being able to give, being able to teach, being able to share. See, we remember when we're engaged and involved. We learn more when we're teaching. We learn more when we're giving, when we're experimenting, testing, trying things out. That's when we accelerate our growth and learning. It's not just when we're sitting back and waiting to hear ideas and thoughts. When we're taught how to learn, how to teach, and how to share, we're able to grow, we're able to enhance, we're able to start living far beyond what we ever imagined because it allows us to have that opportunity to test ourselves in reality, to test ourselves with the real person. And therefore, the two parts of education that we missed out on at school are the two we should invest in for life. Think about who are the people that you want to be around that can help you grow your education of the heart, values that you want to live by, mindsets that you see proving to be successful in people's lives. And think about opportunities where you can make a difference in the lives of others. Gandhi said that we find ourselves when we lose ourselves in the service of others. When we use our skills to make a difference in the life of other people, we learn so much more about those skills, we learn so much more about ourselves and we learn so much more about the meaning and fulfillment that comes from making a difference. Don't blame school, don't blame your parents, don't blame anything that stopped us from getting a full education. All we have to do is get an education in the head, the heart and the hand. If at any point you feel like you're not growing, you're not moving forward, you're not feeling a positive boost, ask yourself, which of these three am I in need of? Because it's always going to be one or two of those three that you're missing.